Sixteen. Sixteen. Good morning, everybody. Alex is watching a car show. Wow, it's so blurry. Oh, there we go. This is our favorite car show. I'm so tired this morning. I think it's because we were tired. Yeah. We didn't. We did. I feel like we did a lot, but we didn't. I don't know. It was weird. I was on my favorite store, Amazon. It's the best. And then I um, might go pack something. I'm getting the itch. I'm looking for travel cases and stuff for um, our honeymoon. Plus, we kind of really like to travel a lot and we're hoping on being able to travel a lot. <laughs> Probably gonna be more road trips than anything else, but um, I just wanna be prepared for when that happens. So, I'm gonna go and make my bed and go through some stuff. Follow me. Ooh. So, once again, um, my room is a pigsty. And I don't know how that happens. It just does. So, yes. Gotta it up a little bit. Okay. So you guys are probably gonna um, love this. This is my favorite idea that I've ever actually, well not my <laughs> favorite ever idea, but it's a really good idea. I always, I'm a chapstick addict if you can't tell and I always keep chapsticks on my dresser on my night nightstand and um, this is for my feet whenever I have the time or feel like putting it on my feet just keeps them soft and I always keep a hair clip because right when I wake up I normally throw up my hair like so and um, just some extra hair ties and I literally just keep it like okay it looks really crowded right now because I have prescriptions and Alex's old phone and his charger but um, if you just keep like all your stuff in a bowl like this on your nightstand it really I feel like it's way more roomy actually so that's what I do. I don't know what y'all do. I've already started um, packing, well, not really packing, but setting aside stuff for the honeymoon. I love packing for trips. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. So we're gonna go to Target today. We have to pick up my ring because it got soldered and it's ready to be picked up, but I can't wear it yet because it's soldered now. Um, finish up the last of those decorations that I showed I think I showed you them in the previous video we wrapped them with twine made them kind of cutesy to put on our centerpieces and then we have to do finish the table runners and the seating chart and that's today that's going to be today and then we're going to pack and all that jazz so what I have packed so far I have perfume samples I don't bring um real spray bottles because okay this takes up so much space and then if you just have this, no space at all. And then I found my travel toothpaste and some hand sanitizer. And I'm putting them all in like a big, this is Alex's scuba diving um, case that his scuba diving gear is waiting to dry right now. So I'm slowly kind of just putting things aside because I don't want to be, within the next, three to four days we need to be packed for our honeymoon because we're gonna have people over the bridal party's gonna fly in and everything gets crazy so we're trying to get all of our stuff together so I'm gonna go charge you guys and then I'm gonna make my bed clean up the room a little bit so yeah everybody so today me and Alex are gonna go on our own and run some errands and y'all are coming along for the ride um, I'm waiting for him he's helping my dad do some stuff, I guess. I'm trying to find good lighting, guys, and I don't have any in my house. So, um, I'm gonna do, 
an outfit of a day, an outfit of a day, an outfit of the day, because I have nothing better to do right now. Today's a really casual, casual day. Um, we're gonna be running some errands, and then I have to come home and work on some wedding stuff, and maybe get some pool time in. I'd like to get at least an hour of sunshine in a day, being from Washington. So let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a super big cami, super long. It's I, th I think on most people it's supposed to be a dress, um, but on me it is a t-shirt, a long t-shirt, um, with my cold jeans. It sounds like I'm saying Colt, but my Coles jeans, kind of just like a loungy whatever. And as you guys know, I got my hair done yesterday and I just kind of ran um, a curling iron through it like really lightly. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's just like a little bit of curl in my hair. I like to not wash my hair for like three days after I get it done because of all the damage that was done to it. Now I'm doing heat, but you know, what are you going to do? And then for jewelry, I'm wearing my bracelet that his parents gave me. I don't have my engagement ring because we're going to pick it up, but you can see my tan line. <laughs> and um, I have my toe rings on, um, my fake diamond earrings, and my gold hoops on either side. And it's a really neutral, I look, I just use waterproof mascara, foundation, blush, contour, highlight, whatever. So, let's go get on this. We're going to go pick up my ring, so, and we're going to find out if this is real gold. And if it is, we'll probably sell it. We're not going to sell it. We are? Are we going to? What if it's worth like $3,000? Okay, if it's $3,000, that's totally different. Okay, so we'll update you when we get back. Hi. <laughs> Oh, hey. We're trying to record on this new tripod that we bought, and it's the Targus Gripton Pro X. But this tripod looks really cool because I feel like we wanted to get a tripod, and this would be a good one for us to bring to LA because it's so little. Um, and we can just kind of like hook it up. We need to figure out how we can hook up to the car because I've seen bloggers hook <coughs> these up to cars before, but I just don't know how they do it. Well, it's like that exact same one we saw for the GoPro, the suction's onto the window or whatever, you know, the dash, but yeah. we just need one that's for a digital camera, not the GoPro. Yeah. Um, right now we're going to CVS. It's kind of, it just looks... After 300 yards, turn left onto roads and then you will reach Surrey's your destination. Cousin. Um, we just got back from Target. We had to pick up some stuff for our honeymoon, which is exciting. And now we're going to CVS because they didn't have something that I wanted. But if CVS doesn't have it, then we're just going to have to go without. And... So then we're gonna probably now head turn left and then you will reach your destination on roads. She, she has, she's got a lot to say, really. Then we're probably gonna head home and um, then we're gonna get bugged about doing other stuff. I feel like this is a ghetto CBS. After 150 oh. yards, you will reach your destination on roads. I'm sure it's ghetto. It's leaving. Have oh, it's right there. Oh, I'm making it over there. Drive through. I don't want that. Oh, but that's the parking lot too. So we've never been to this CVS. I don't know how to hook you up. Oh, look at that. It's got a picture of downtown. That's cute. Look at that. It's got a picture of the stadium that's being built. That's cool. He's very proud of his film. I am. Like, look at that. It has, and it labels the buildings. That's pretty cool. See, you I got it, man. Have this, but it's a GPS thing. You, all you can probably see is little dream catchers. Still. Okay. <laughs> That's probably gonna be fine. I mean, whatever. I feel like that's all they can see, though. It's like directly in the line of fire. Yeah. 
I think it's time to get rid of your high school. No. I got rid of mine a year after I graduated. So, fail at CBS. What was this guy doing? We failed. We didn't fail, actually. They failed. No, it's their fault. So now we're gonna go home, eat some leftover lasagna, and then I have to do some wedding emails, and then we'll probably sit out in the backyard for about an hour and then get to get to wedding stuff. Barb puts us to work. But I want to do a haul video of all the things that we bought for travel. Maybe I'll do like, what's in our travel? I'll do a travel haul. Yeah, yeah. I'll do a travel haul. And all the stuff we bought that we we're gonna travel with. Do it. Do it. But I still need to get, if anybody knows where you can get like big, clear, like permanent, not just like plastic bags, but like permanent, Zippy bags, let me know because I've only found little ones, but I want big ones to put like my hair products in because I buy, I use so many plastic bags when I travel and I want reusable ones. It's a beautiful day in the night. It's six days until I get married. Six yeah. Days. Which means I'm on high stress, which I shouldn't be because I'm hard to deal with when I'm high stress. Now keep left and then into the highway. I mean, ever in the San Jose area the best noodle house and there's really good noodle houses in Seattle but you know we're not there anymore so we can't go there is it's called Faya Fa, it's Fa one house noodles well anyways if you like Fa, that's the place to go it's the best one in San Jose that I have found Yeah, it looks like there's gonna be a thunderstorm tonight, which is fun. I love summer thunderstorms, baby. And <laughs> oh, you wanna see what our tripod looks like? It looks like this, it's really cool. We're probably gonna go home. I have to email a bunch of wedding people and I need to try to order those clear plastic bags if I can find them anywhere. Speaking of food, my favorite gum in the entire universe is Trident Splash. You can only get it at Target. You can't get it at any other drugstore. You might be able to find it at Walmart, but I don't ever shop at Walmart, so. Ooh, we watched a great movie last night. Um, Olympus Has Fallen with Gerard Butler. If you like action movies, you're gonna go left to the light. Any action movie at all, it's a great movie. I don't even think you have to love action to like that movie. It's just like, it makes it's, you scared, but. It's intense all the way through. The whole way. Wow. Like, you're, literally I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. It's not non-stop. You don't get a relaxing point. Nope. It's like, I want him to kill everyone. Yep. The entire time. And he does, so. You just gave the whole movie away. He dies. <laughs> but watch it, please watch it. It's really good. 
Oh, I need to edit videos today because I didn't upload one yet. I try to upload a video a day. But right now we're about four, three days behind schedule. So I post a video three days after we shoot it. I'd like to get on the daily vlogger schedule, which is normally like you post the day after. But we'll see. What can you do? What can you do? Once we get on a regular schedule, we're gonna be on our honeymoon and then we're gonna have to move to LA and then everything's gonna get messed up again because we're not gonna have Wi-Fi for like five days. For like a day. Instead of a day. Yeah. Okay. See you later.